Well, hey there, it's Elka, and welcome to another episode of the Creative and Ambitious Entrepreneur Podcast. And in this episode, it's an episode that's near and dear to my heart because I am talking to you about mompreneurs who are thriving on Zazzle. And that's where I started in this, my Zazzle journey was I was working on, at a professional job. I had children who I then took to daycare and they were like, it was just so much work and effort to get my kids to all the different places they needed to be while I needed to be professional and be there on time for my business, which not only included a nine to five, but also um, travel for two weeks at a time and so on. And so even though that might be not your life, if you're a mom, and you want to have a better aligned life while still creating an income for yourself and feeling like you are a contributor to your family, and even just doing it for yourself because you want to, you know, succeed and accomplish something, then you're in the right spot with this podcast because we're going to showcase uh, three entrepreneurs who are on the Zazzle platform, who have various degrees of success because of where they are and their journey. And there's just so exciting to hear their stories. And this will inspire you and hopefully you'll be interested in using the Zazzle platform as a way for you to create an incredibly successful online business for yourself and for your family and be a rock star mompreneur. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to ask you if, and even if you don't, maybe you know a friend or someone else who's not like, who is a mom, who's looking for an alternative. And that would be then a great podcast for like this one would be a great one for you to introduce to them uh, and let them listen so that they can feel inspired and maybe see some hope at the end of the tunnel in terms of what they are like the lighting at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, in terms of their solution for what it is that they could do to feel like they've got control back in their life or that they're finding that one thing that they were missing in terms of the new equation based on where they're they're at in their journey as a mom. And this applies for dads who are also stay at home. I should actually maybe change the title, but it is mompreneurs for now because we're showcasing three women. But this is, could equally work for people who, like a mom or a they who are staying home with their kids. It's just so great. And this is why I'm so excited about talking about this because I did this when I was younger. And I didn't do it quite at the beginning of my journey. Like I didn't just start the minute I was a mom. I actually waited till my second, my twins came along. And then I realized I've, I think there's more to life than just giving myself and my time and my energy to someone else to build their business. Instead, I want to build my business and I want to build it on my own terms at my own time and make the money I want while I'm enjoying and not missing out on any other uh, opportunities to be with my kids through their journey in, of growing up, which I can never get back, right? Unless I make the time right at that point. And so, uh, yeah, if this is this resonates with you, I'm so excited that you're here. And I'm going to give you not only some things to ask yourself whether this is the thing for you or anyone else who's listening who've given it to as a friend or something. But also I'm going to showcase three uh, wonderful women, two of which are in our coaching program, the Profit by Design Academy, and one of them which I know of and as I'm sort of like a respected colleague of well, because I'm a designer on the Sazzle Marketplace and she's a designer on the Sazzle Marketplace. And the two of us are quite like we're just in awe, like I in awe of her. I don't know what she thinks of me, but I think she's incredibly great, and I'm so uh, excited, so excited for her success. <laughs> and so yeah, I just want to showcase her and show you uh, the various degrees of where people are with kids and professions they had beforehand, and so on, so that you can really relate as much as possible to this opportunity. Okay, so you have to um, you have to ask. Well, if you're a mom who has just recently become a mom and you want a better work life balance, 
or, or just you become a mom and you go like, so now what? Like, I don't want to go back to work. I like being home with my kid and um, I'd rather find a different income source. And that would be the, the, you know, definitely stay around for this podcast then. And then also, if you're a mom like me, who uh, tried to do everything, tried to be superwoman and fail, like maybe not even fail, but just I felt like I failed because I just couldn't be exactly where I needed to be and enjoy each part of what I was doing. So I needed something that was a little bit more aligned where I could enjoy work and I could enjoy the kids and I could be there for whenever I needed to be there for the kids and also still be able to get my business done. And it just meant that I had to find a business that had less time involvement um, and allowed me the flexibility to work wherever and whenever I wanted to. And also it felt really good afterwards when my kids were older, because obviously Jennifer, who's my daughter, is now 31. So yeah, it's been a while. But my twins, who are almost 26, almost 26 at the time of this record, or just turned 26 at the time of this recording, then, um, oh, I, there we go a month after turning 26. They are the, the inspiration for why I decided to shift my life and make it more aligned with joy, love, and peace rather than stress, overwhelm, constantly not knowing where I'm going and just being so frazzled that I have no clue what I was doing. And I was really worried because I thought something's going to break and someone's going to get hurt because I wasn't going to be able to be able to be there all in one piece with my head on straight in terms of thinking and being fully in the, the moment. And so I'm just really fortunate that I found Zazzle uh, as a business opportunity. And obviously that's what we're talking about here is these three women also found business, uh, Zazzle as their business opportunity and they've been thriving and excited about it ever since. So the, um, Either way, it's going to be really great because you're going to understand that there's more out there for you, right? And even if you love your job and you can manage everything, unlike myself, um, you can still say, hey, what about long term? Like, how am I going to feel a couple of years from now or even 10 years from now if I'm continuing to like carry and juggle all these balls? What is it? What, how is this going to happen? Like, am I going to regret not being there for the kids? as much as I could be, or am I going to regret that I was there for the kids and then I'm, uh, you know, missing out on opportunities like advancement in the company and so on. So those are the things that are probably in your mind and you're wondering, hey, what's the answer for me? And so the answer for you is exactly what you want, not what anyone else says. So what I'm going to do is just give you some opportunities here to think about it. And then obviously you're going to make the right decision no matter what it is. But I'm really excited if you decide to use this Zazzle platform as a way to um, enhance your life in a, in a way that maybe you didn't realize is a possibility as another altern alternate route rather than the way you were told or saw in front of you in terms of your only options. All right, so let's just say that you do decide to, to start um, a business other than where you are right now that's online because that's going to make it easier, but also um, is it going to be Zazzle, right? And so Zazzle for me, I just keep saying Zazzle, Zazzle, Zazzle. It's an online platform that Jennifer and I use all the time because we started our businesses 2008 uh, for on the platform, yes, during the recession. And now again, we're kind of going into some inflationary situations and COVID still happening and the world is crazy right now. But for some reason, the situation is kind of similar to what it was in 2008. And Zazzle is full on strong. We are earning more money uh, all the time. Our clients and coach like coaching clients are making more money all the time uh, on this platform. And so it's a really great opportunity. And like, if you had to make a choice, this is a pretty, you know, safe and secure one at this point. Anyway, uh, obviously I can't make any income claim statements, but I just want you to know that we're not just telling you to go, you know, sell you know, I don't know, something crazy that's not going to be in a, a fad a year from now. Like, remember anyone remember Pet Rocks? I mean, there's been versions since then, but when I was little, everyone had to have a Pet Rock and it was so hilarious because it was just a rock in a box. <laughs> 
but obviously people aren't buying those right now. And so I, I want to make sure that you understand this is not a fly-by-night operation on the Zazzle platform. This is serious stuff, and people have created a lot of wealth on the platform, including myself and Jen. Together, we've made over $1.5 million in payouts from Zazzle, and we're so excited that that continues. We're still in the you know trenches with other designers, so to speak, although it doesn't feel like trenches. It feels like a, a glorious job for me as a business, and I just enjoy doing it whenever I do it because Jen and I work less than four hours a month on our business and still maintain our, our income. And so this is something that if that resonates with you, then it's really exciting for you to have this opportunity. Okay. So ask yourself if this is right for you. And I'm going to give you three questions so that you can judge, right? Whether any of this is really truly what you want when you're thinking, okay, I need something different or I have to, you know, look at some other opportunities. Our podcast episodes are filled with uh, other testimonials, ways to go about things. So I'm not going to get into that here, but I want you to ask these questions specifically based on just your own personal situation. Okay. Uh, So first of all, if you're looking at a business, you're going to have to ask, um, a couple of things like, will it give you that work life balance that you desire? And as you meant, as I mentioned already, Jen and I work basically less than four hours a month to maintain a certain income that we just know is our income that we want for our businesses right now to give us so that we can work, just have fun and do other things like what we do with the, the coaching, the coaching program. We love helping and mentoring uh, other people who are struggling on the Zazzle platform. This gives us such a rise in terms of being so proud of our community. And when people achieve certain levels and goals, we're so excited because people's lives are transformed. That's so much better than making a couple of dollars on the Zazzle platform. I know that's what your goal is, but we've achieved that goal and now we can give back. This is our way of in, like helping out in more ways than just donating money to something, right? And so it's really exciting for us to be able to have a business where when I needed to, when I, the kids were little, I could work on Zazzle at my own time and then I could balance and have just the best time ever being a mom, taking care of my kids, doing stuff with them, soccer practice, you know, plays, whatever they were in, I was there and I didn't miss a thing. And the kids really enjoyed that and and loved that I had such a commitment to whatever they were doing as they were growing up. And so is that going to happen for you if you do this uh, business? In our coaching program, we tell you that, uh, teach you how to do this work within a 20 hour a month Um, time period. So it it may sound really scary to just have 20 hours, but we have proof uh, positive of even our top earners that are in our coaching program that use that time strictly because they have nine to five jobs that they can't avoid doing uh, in addition to what they want to do on the Zazzle platform. So they um, stick to that time frame. Sometimes they even do less hours a month and they're actually some of our top earners. Why would that be? It's because they don't, um, they just know that they have a certain amount of time and so therefore they're very efficient and very effective with the time that they have because they also have great desire to achieve higher and higher goals because they have really strong whys. And and like why is in like a reason for uh, success on the Zazzle platform and and earning a certain dollar level. And so that hopefully will help you uh, answer that question when um, asked, you know, is this going to give you your work-life balance? And uh, yeah, you can actually um, check out episode 67, uh, no, 66, sorry, for the, um, the the more information on Christine and Brandon, who are our top earners in, uh, that I just spoke about. Okay, so then also, and I'll put that in the show notes. Then um, can you replace your income? So first of all, the first question was, will it give you the work-life balance you desire? And now I'm going to, the second question is, can you replace your income with whatever you're doing? And for, for me, it took a while and I was really um, inexperienced and not clear on how this was going to happen for me. So I actually went through quite an embarrassing couple of years, especially in my first year, I only made $90 Uh, in my entire year. I worked all year long 
and I made $90 coming from a very high paying job. I was mortified. I felt like a failure. I didn't know how I was going to make it up to my husband who was you know, take, picking up the slack in terms of um, earning and I just felt so low. Uh, but I wasn't going to give up and I think that's one of the things that um, one of the reasons why Jen and I started teaching because we also found that so many people were trying their best but weren't getting uh, they were just basically experiencing the same thing that Jen and I experienced, where it took years for us to make something that was a significant amount of money. So that we could say, yeah, this was kind of replace my income. Yes, it takes some time. They're definitely not going to make, you know, $100,000 in the next month. I can't make any income claim statements. Uh, but the idea here is, is that the uh, you move gradually up to earning that within a certain time period. And the sooner you implement the things that are necessary, the sooner you're going to see that number uh, that you want to see. Uh, so I would definitely weigh those um, consequences in terms of having to start a little bit slower and possibly like Christine and Brandon both made about like like 10,000-ish or, or no, to, uh, Brandon made 10,000-ish and Christine made about uh, 4,000, 3,800, I think, in her first year. But then next year, she doubled, she timed 10 times that, right? She was almost at 38,000, I think, and Brandon came up to about 35,000 in terms of earnings. So th the key here is this figure out what you want to do, see if it's going to be possible for you to have that window where you're working your way up into the business, but then ultimately ask that question, can it replace my income? So maybe I don't have to go back after maternity leave if you get a long maternity leave, or if um, you have to just work for a little bit or part-time, and then that the, your Zazzle business could take up the slack, and then ultimately in a couple of years, it could actually become your full-time income. And if that's the case, then that's great for you because um, Jennifer and I, well, obviously I haven't worked at another job since I started Zazzle in 2008 and it's been supporting me ever since. And I love that about it because it's just, it's just heaven. So now um, the next question is, will it make you fulfilled personally and professionally? And I think you have to, like, I didn't like skip over that fast. I want to really emphasize it has to be fulfilling personally as well as professionally. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of pressure on us as, you know, even if you had not a professional job, but just something that earned income before you had your kids or, you know, while you now or even now if you have your kids, but you're still earning an income and you prefer to have something else um, in terms of that situation, like an online business that you own, then you're going to feel professionally that you're no longer like a contributor to the household or that you're maybe a little bit feeling less worthy or have less self-worth because you're no longer bringing in the money, right? Um, like even that in itself is a huge factor when there's a big switch in your life like that. And then the other factor is professionally, like we have a lot of coaching clients who are doing this just for themselves to prove that they can do something on their own, start to finish, and be super proud of it, right? They're not even as worried about how much they make, although the money is nice, but they just want to prove that they can do something on their own and be really proud of it. And that is a feeling that a lot of mums get and when they're, you know, they've been doing childcare for a long time and diapers and formula and the you know umpteenth or millionth time that you've served chicken fingers for fries and fries for your dinner rather than something that's more edible um, just because the kids like it and there's nothing else they'll eat you know that kind of scenario you can get really down on yourself and if you just had this business then it could just make you feel on a professional like as if you're not just the mom, even though mom is your, you love being a mom, like I did, I was like, just dove right in. Um, but you kind of lose yourself after a while, right? If you let that happen, and this is a way for you to have your thing, your little business initially, and it could turn into a huge, beautiful business that you can be super proud of monetarily, or just even say, hey, I did this, right? Even if the monetary value doesn't hit where you want it to be right away, it can be such a, a, a game changer in terms of how you feel because you're proud that you got this to go to work. It's hard to be an entrepreneur, right? Everybody on the on their blogs and 
online and in the news, they go like, mompreneurs and be your own boss. And it's hard. And to do that on top of raising a family, you're like a superwoman. Just saying. Okay, so make sure that you definitely get that personal fulfillment in addition to the professional fulfillment. And I think I covered both of those (laughs) uh, in a certain way there. Okay, so let's just dive right into three of the mompreneurs that I want to feature today. And the first one, her name is Erica Husband. She has actually already um, been part of our community for a long time. She took our very first iteration of the Profit by Design Academy, and uh, she is a super mom and the most loving and caring person around. We interviewed her. I'm going to add uh, the link to the YouTube video that we did with her in terms of her interview. And um, she was talking in our interview about her why. And she is a mom who has three boys and they've all been diagnosed with autism. And so she made the decision to stay home and look after them because it was gonna be less costly for daycare, obviously. And she's been doing that since 1998. And she's always been looking for things to do online. And she does ultimately do other things besides Zazzle, but she realized right away that Zazzle and anything else online, like another print-on-demand company or Etsy and those kinds of things are all gonna be serving her so much better than um, her just going to a nine to five job or something where she has to put her kids in daycare. Obviously, they're a lot older now, but does that, like all of her journey through all these, uh, like being her own boss and having her own online business has really helped her just be there and be the rock for her family, which I just think is like absolutely amazing. And so the other thing, though, that's kind of cool is um, that her husband was so supportive of this. So she, as I mentioned before with, you know, will it fulfill you personally or professionally? For her, the personal journey was also to make sure that she uh, gave back to her husband because she didn't want him to be the only one that was uh, sacrificing. Like he was doing on like several jobs just to let her be able to stay home. And so she wanted to contribute to make sure that that was a possibility that they could all, um, you know, be a cohesive family and all contribute. And so that was her huge, huge why in addition to um, being a, a super mom. Okay, so this is huge. And she, I've got her links to her interview and her link to her store. And she's a Zazzle Pro designer. So that means that she's reached the 1000 um, level in terms of or payouts from US-based sales on the Zazzle platform. But the next level up is silver, which is at 25,000. So she's somewhere in between 1,000 and 25,000. I haven't asked her recently, but obviously she's got enough going for her in that her she can stay home with the kids. And so I love that her story is definitely a a huge superpower woman entrepreneur story which hopefully you resonate with and you can check out her story in more detail with anything that she has on her Zazzle store and her social media. Okay then we've got Lorena DePonte and she is a silver Zazzle Pro designer. She is part she was originally also part of our um, course when we first started doing it in 2017. She has since become a a silver pro designer, which means she's made like put, um, she's had reached the $25,000 earnings mark, which is awesome. And she has four children. And yeah, she has four children, and she was a graphic designer already. And she had another job, and she was doing consulting and graphic design work on her own. And then she found Zazzle. And that really allowed her to branch out. And as we all know, all of these other jobs, it's like trading time for dollars. Whereas on Zazzle, she could start to see that that could be a business model that could work for her, where she wasn't constantly needing to be there or do something physically while she was earning money, right? And uh, we've worked a lot with her to take her out of that mindset because she was so ingrained that she needed to work the hours and put in the time and and serve her customers so much who are giving her like like asking for a lot of time 
in her custom work, but only she was only getting a certain payout. So when she actually did the dollar hourly rate, then it would turn out she was making like less than minimum wage. So by helping her create a more of a, a effective passive cash flow business model with her Zazzle design store, that allowed her to start increasing her minimum wage to a more of a, like beyond minimum wage and allowed her to have time with her four kids, right? That's a lot of work. And she's very involved, very, uh, it, the, her family is everything. And like, she's the one who would be, well, she does bake like cookies and make like huge crafts up for kids. And she's the one that has like all the really cool things that you do with your kids on their first day of school. And it's just amazing. She's like, I asked her one day, like, do you sleep? And she goes, no, not very much. And I was like, yeah, well, because there's just so much going on in your life. It's just amazing, but you're going to burn out. And so I want you, like, and I was talking to her and I was basically said, like, I think we could help you with this in terms of getting your business in a much better uh, situation. Use Zazzle more rather than just being an individual um, graphic design consultant so that you could you know, not take on so many physical clients, let the clients do the work for you by having all the templates on the Zazzle platform, and then they can buy while you're sleeping or having fun with your kids. And so she's loved that. And she's, uh, she hasn't looked back. Zazzle's a really big piece of her income on online business strategy. And then um, it's really fun because she actually ended up getting licensing deals with Pottery Barn Kids. And, and then she also is with Minted, which is a card company. And so it's really exciting for us to see her development and also for her to, to see how Zazzle ended up incorporating into her um, aligned way of doing business as well as getting uh, her professional and personal goals met as a mom and as an entrepreneur. Okay, as with um, Erica, everything's in the show notes. Go check out the links. We've done an interview with her and you can watch that on YouTube and we've got the link there for you. We've got a link to her Zazzle store and we've got, um, a, she's also been showcased on the Zazzle platform and so you can go read her interview on the Zazzle blog. And that link is in the show notes as well. And last but not least, as I mentioned before, I don't, uh, she, Kristen here is not in my um, course in our uh, coaching program or anything like that. But as a Zazzle designer, I know of her and she's an amazing designer and she's always front and center with like PR. And uh, she's also done really well in the Zazzle platform. She's also a Diamond Pro designer and just like myself. And then um, at one point, I think she said that, yeah, she's definitely already, like, diamond means that you've made $500,000 uh, through earnings from sales, from uh, US-based sales, but I'm sure she's way past that already as well, but I can't make any income claim statements. And um, her last name, I won't even attempt to pronounce it, but it's um, J-U-C-K-I-E-W-I-C-Z, so I don't want to butcher that, but Kristen has a store called Redwood and Vine on the Zazzle Marketplace. And you can see already that she's just much more professional because she comes from that background. She was, and I'm quoting her bio now, a senior marketing professional in the management, consulting, and retail industries, having spent the first dozen or so years of my career working B2B, right? Marketing, digital, social media marketing, and account management. So, whew, <laughs> it's a lot. And it just goes to show you that there's like from all walks of life, Zazzle can, can be the thing that really works because of the outcomes and the the way that the business can be done. And you don't need to have Kristen's skill sets in order to do well. You just need the, the steps to do well, right? But some of the things that she did in her previous career were definitely an advantage to her moving forward with her social and promotional stuff. Um, to get her where she is today on the Zazzle platform. Now, the reason that I mention her is because she's also a mompreneur. She started out uh, doing also a blog that um, she was very successful at and actually got f featured in a magazine because it was a fashion blog. And, a and so um, she's done all kinds of things. 
but found Zazel after she had her son, who uh, then, like, after uh, her son came along, she goes, like, I think I should do something that's more in tune with what I want to do now that my son is here. And so the rest is history, right? She's started on Zazel and she's using Zazel as her, I think she's got a couple of other platforms, but I think Zazel's her main one that she's just um, working through and making it work for her so that she can be home with her son and her husband and her dog. And uh, they live in Napa Valley and she's living the, the good life. Okay. And again, uh, the links for her store, the link to her um, interview with Zazel is on the uh, show notes and also her bio and website. And actually for all three of them, I've got, um, actually no, Lorena, I've got a website for. So whatever I can get you so that you can go and check out these wonderful, amazing mompreneurs is in the show notes. So go check those out on alkaclark.com and then go find my podcast and they're in the show notes. The show notes are very different than other show notes. Show notes in my case are like a full on blog. Uh, so there's actually more information uh, sometimes in there, and at least the links are in this case where you are going to be able to go and check out these wonderful women. So I hope you've really enjoyed this, that we're focusing in on various um, women who have different life situations, but all coming together to use the Zazzle platform as their way to become incredible mompreneurs that are have a business that's aligned with their purpose and their uh, objectives, both professionally and personally. So thanks so much for watching or listening, and we'll see you next week.